Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Depending on what lane that you run, you gotta, you know, be conscious of what the weather forecast is going to bring you. Now, if you, without putting too much information out on YouTube about, you know, what I do, I run the, I run Midwest into the Northeast or uh, Mid Atlantic. So you're looking at. Delaware, Maryland, um, Eastern Pennsylvania, um, New York State, some New Hampshire, some Connecticut, and no states up there. You know, I don't go too for much further than that. And I very seldom take loads going up there, especially in the wintertime. I don't think so. But you got to keep an eye on the weather forecast because these snowstorms, they'll pop up in a heartbeat and they'll they'll jack a road up in a minute and, you know, it, it, it will, <laughs> I ain't going to say it's going to mess your day up, but it's going to put a delay on some stuff. So if you heard about that uh, Route 70 getting shut down in West Virginia, I think it was shut down in West Virginia. Not sure if it was shut down in Ohio, but West Virginia, and then getting on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, it was shut down somewhere around Breezewood. So because of it started snowing, and you know, people spun out, whatever happened, and it shut the road down. There was a pile up and everything. Now before this, now I already knew it was going to snow. And it, they weren't calling for a lot. It was calling for about two inches. I might have mentioned this in my previous video or one of the previous ones. Um, but you got to keep an eye on the weather forecast. So let me tell you how that went. So coming out of West Virginia, yeah, I was on 70 in West Virginia. Um, you know, you go through the, that little town where I think it's like, it's like 55 and it comes up that that big hill <clears throat> excuse me climbs up that big hill now before I got there I'm on the CB that's a, sorry here's a digression turn your CB on use it you know even if you don't say nothing listen to the weather you, the, the traffic forecast you know what's going on don't wait until you're sitting there in traffic and get on this turn the CB on hey what's going on don't do that just a tip of advice you know but anyway back to the story so I'm down, I'm climbing up that hill. Now before, before this, probably about 15, 20 minutes before this, I asked for uh, 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 a road update, you know, a highway update. Hey, you know, hey westbound, what you leave behind you, you know, what's going on? Is the road open? Is there anything going on? Nah, driver, it's, it's all right. It's open. All right. So I see traffic starting to back up. I'm climbing up this hill, and I see traffic stopped at the top. Now I had, I could got, there was a few exits where I could have got off. So I said, I'm on the radio. Hey, you know, nobody said anything. Hey, anything going on on 70? What's going on? Is the road shut down or are we getting by? Uh, the left lane's getting by. All right, no big deal. So that turned into a four hour, um, four hour, you know, uh, traffic jam. You, you know, we're just sitting there. You know, something happened. They had both lanes, uh, both um, directions shut down, east and westbound. So, once it opened up, so now I'm tired. I've been sitting there for, you know, four hours. I've been driving for, I've already been driving for eight, eight hours in the truck. So, I was like, man, I'm tired. So, and it was still snowing. So, I was like, uh, there was a, t a t thing as a TA truck stop couple miles down before you got into Pennsylvania. It might even be in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure. Because um, I was going to jump on a turnpike. And then it was all jacked up. You know, everybody was sitting there. Now, all the guys that are on e-logs, they're, they're running out of time. So they're looking for somewhere to, to pull over. So I'm on my phone. Oh, look, here's a hotel right here. Let me call these guys up. Hey, you got room for truck park? Yeah, if you can get up the hill, we got parking. All right, I'll be there. So I went up, there's a Ramada there in um, West Virginia. Uh, no, um, Washington, PA is where the Ramada is. It sits up on top of the hill, long driveway going up. So 
I paid my $85, stayed overnight, got back up in the morning, and, you know, kept on going. But you got to be, you got to be, you got to watch that weather forecast like a hawk. Now, I've been out here for, well, when I say out here, I've, I've been driving these trucks for going on 15 years in the snow and the ice, hurricane, you name it. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. You know, if they calling for a snowstorm, two inches, probably like, you know, anything, I can, I'll probably go, you know, two inches, but anything beyond two inches, mm-mm. I say, oh, hey, I'm pulling over for the night, I'm getting a hotel room, you know, I, I ain't coming out the house. I'll come out the house when the snowstorm's done and the roads are clear. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. Um, and that's another reason, buy yourself an inexpensive truck because <laughs> I don't need to re, you know, keep repeating myself, but you know, I mean, you got to think about these things before you get into business. Um, so that's all. Just chew on that. Check the weather forecast before you uh, go out there. Um, that's all. We'll see you on the next one.